Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a chilling story from history the tale of Typhoid Mary. Grab your snacks and let's get started. Story of Mary Mallon. Once upon a time, in the bustling streets of New York City during the early 1900s, lived a woman named Mary Mallon, known to her friends and employers as Mary Brown. She was a skilled cook, renowned for her delectable meals, especially her mouthwatering peach cobbler. Little did anyone know that beneath her cheery demeanor lay a silent menace that would leave a mark on history forever. In 1906, the Warren family, for whom Mary had recently started working as a cook, fell seriously ill. Fever, vomiting, and severe abdominal pain afflicted them one by one. The mysterious outbreak led to the death of the family's youngest daughter and sent shockwaves through the community. At the same time, a young and tenacious sanitary engineer named Dr. George Soper began investigating the sudden typhoid fever cases that were springing up across the city. He delved into the history of each outbreak, and soon, a peculiar pattern emerged. Mary Brown had previously worked for several families who had been plagued by typhoid fever. Driven by curiosity and concern, Dr. Soper embarked on a quest to find Mary. His investigations led him to a small house in the Bronx, where Mary was working for another family. Dr. Soper introduced himself and expressed his concerns about her connection to the typhoid outbreaks. Mary was bewildered and offended by the insinuation. After all, she had never fallen sick with typhoid herself. Dr. Soper requested samples of Mary's urine and stool to examine, but she staunchly refused. Convinced of her innocence, Mary dismissed him, thinking that would be the end of the matter. However, Dr. Soper was relentless and continued to pursue his hypothesis. As he delved deeper into Mary's past, he discovered that her real name was Mary Mallon and that she had been employed in multiple households where typhoid outbreaks occurred. Dr. Soper's suspicions grew stronger, and he sought the assistance of other experts to convince Mary to undergo testing. They confronted her once more, explaining the dangers of her potential role as an asymptomatic carrier. However, Mary remained adamant and declined their requests. Unable to sway her, Dr. Soper sought legal recourse, obtaining a court order to forcefully collect samples for testing. The results confirmed his fears Mary was indeed an asymptomatic carrier of the deadly bacterium Salmonella typhi, responsible for causing typhoid fever. The revelation stunned both Mary and the public. She couldn't grasp the idea that she carried a deadly disease while remaining healthy herself. It was difficult for her to accept that she was a threat to others. In the interest of public health, Mary was isolated on North Brother Island in the East River. After several years of isolation, she managed to convince health officials that she had learned her lesson and promised never to work as a cook again. The officials allowed Mary to leave the island and resume a normal life under the condition that she would avoid handling food or cooking for others. Initially, Mary complied, but the allure of her culinary expertise and the need for financial stability drove her back into the world of cooking. In 1915, Another typhoid outbreak struck, linked once again to Mary's culinary pursuits. Dr. Soper, now exasperated, had her arrested and returned to quarantine. This time, there was no hope for release. For the rest of her life, Mary remained confined on North Brother Island. She lived in relative solitude, contemplating the consequences of her actions. Typhoid Mary, once a celebrated cook, had become a symbol of the dangers of infectious disease and the need for responsible behavior. In 1938, after spending nearly three decades in isolation, Mary Mallon succumbed to pneumonia, marking the end of a story that had captivated the world and forever changed the way we approach public health and asymptomatic carriers. The tale of Typhoid Mary remains a haunting reminder of the power of microbes and the importance of understanding and confronting diseases, even when they hide in plain sight. Conclusion The story of Typhoid Mary, or Mary Mallon, serves as a cautionary tale about the hidden dangers of infectious diseases and the role of asymptomatic carriers. Mary's status as a healthy carrier of the typhoid fever bacterium had a profound impact on public health practices, raising awareness about the importance of hygiene and disease transmission. Her initial denial and refusal to accept responsibility for the outbreaks highlighted the ethical dilemmas that arise when individual rights clash with public health concerns. The persistence of health officials and scientists in investigating her case ultimately led to groundbreaking discoveries and advancements in understanding the spread of infectious diseases. Despite Mary's tragic fate of spending her remaining years in isolation, her legacy endures as a reminder of the responsibility each individual holds in preventing the spread of contagious illnesses. 
The story of typhoid Mary serves as a reminder that even seemingly healthy individuals can unknowingly carry dangerous pathogens, emphasizing the significance of vigilance, empathy, and cooperation in safeguarding public health for all. And there you have it, the captivating story of typhoid Mary a tale that still echoes through history as a cautionary reminder. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and share. And if you want to learn more about intriguing stories from the past, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.